Aloha everyone, Aloha Kako. This is uh, H. Doug from uh, Waikiki in Hawaii. Uh, we're waiting for the probably the last climate march uh, on the face of this earth for today uh, to come down the street. Both sides of Kalakaua Boulevard in Waikiki, the main drag of Waikiki. I say the last march for the day because we're at 157 west longitude. And there's nothing from 157 to uh, 180 is Pacific Ocean pretty much. We've got both sides of the uh, sidewalk. This is actually, I don't believe it's a permitted march. This is a First Amendment march uh, expressing a political viewpoint. And we stand in solidarity with all the others around the, uh, this planet. Asking for a, a change. And the march has just started. We've got both sides of the sidewalk. The First Amendment march, I believe there's uh, no permit really for this march. We've got a polar bear, we got the Grim Reaper in an oil costume. Grim Reaper in oil. Okay. We've got both sides of the sidewalk. This is the main drag in uh, Waikiki, the, the tourist capital of uh, Oahu and probably Hawaii. You know, a broad coalition of people here. We're going to be walking to the Gandhi statue uh, about a mile or so down the road here. We've got old, young Sierra Club, yay! Okay. World can't wait, not in my name, or whatever they're using now. I know those globe signs. You're live on the internet! Thank you! A lot of people here. Malama, the Arctic Wildlife Refuge. You'll see the, the term Malama. Thank you. Handing out leaflets. We'll take a look at the. That's a good sign. What is Next Era? Next Era is uh, a uh, fossil fuel dependent electrical company, power company from the continental. United States who is made it made a making an attempt to purchase Hawaiian Electric Company, which is highly invested in uh, fossil fuels. Uh, we pay the highest amount in. Uh, we'll go catch up with people in uh, what is claimed to the United States. We pay about thirty-five cents per kilowatt hour. We're going to try and catch up to people. If I, I might cut out and then once we get to the park, we will uh, get back in. Let's go get up to the uh, bullhorn. Gigantic uh, consumer of uh, 
energy. Sorry, we're walking into the sun here. All right. I'm going to try and get over to the other side of the street. We can see. We can see who is uh, on the other side. They are. You know, I'm an old guy now. I remember marches as being a lot slower. <laughs> this is more of a very quick uh, jog here. I'm going to try and get over on the other side. You can see the uh, marches in that side. Now, the one reason we're marching through Waikiki is you usually hear the word Waikiki with beach and the, if there were no hotels we'd be able to see the beach right through those buildings and uh, most of this area would be underwater in fact we'd be wading through water or swimming through it at this moment this uh, March also follows and kind of there we go. Okay. If you just joined us, we're in uh, we're live from Waikiki, Waikiki Beach. Although you can't see the beach because it's a highly developed tourist area and it's developed uh, by foreign corporations and people that don't live here. this kind of sign I'm gonna try and get across the street here. not all of you watching are big fans of the uh, protest I'm gonna get over to the other side here we'll catch this side this is uh, Kalakaua Boulevard. I'm going to get up a little bit on these steps here. Get this group. I don't know if you can see the group walking down the sidewalk on the other side. You can see a luxury condo or hotel going up. We have a group on this side. This is not officially permitted. So we're not walking through the street. We're, we are taking up both sides of the uh, sidewalk. This is probably the last climate march of the day. You're live on the internet. Thank you. Here's a. Uh, we got Grim Reaper. Of, I got one. You got one? Yeah, thank you. I got the Grim Reaper of oil on this side and a older bear on the other side. So. <laughs> You're live on the internet. Thank you. Thank you very much. A lot of people here, young and old. A lot of support. I'm passing cars. Mostly hybrids. Nah, I don't know. I think that was gasoline power. Hawaii at the moment is very dependent on uh, oil for generation of uh, electricity. And uh, the current uh, power company, Heko, Hawaiian Electric Company, has capped the amount of photovoltaic uh, installations that can be put on uh, homes. And that will run out in June of this coming year. Why are they doing that? You see uh, Bardane. Bardane, you're live on the internet. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> yes, you have uh, anything uh, you want to say? I want people to be sure to turn out for my next movie. Uh, I'm, I'm starring with Brad Pitt. Originally, I was going to have the role. We're going to smile and back away. Here. They decided Thanks. that Thanks. Brad was better looking than I. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no, that's Brad. Uh, Bart. Bart. But I do recommend his new film about... Uh, not, I'm, I'm actually, 
I would like a press release, although I'm not officially with You're media. You're welcome to it. The, oh, He's oh, people's media. media. All right. I am the people's media. We need media. that more than ever. <laughs> Now, how many politicians are here? There are not many. There was one I saw pass by, and we'll go catch up to him. That was Gary Hooter. He was a council member on Kauai Island. He's also a county. And also ground zero of GMO testing. Uh, Okay, if you just joined us, we are on the main strip on uh, through Waikiki. It's Kalakaua Boulevard. Named after uh, the last king of Hawaii, King Kalakaua, uh, who uh, was not the last monarch. He died in 1890. At which time the, uh, his sister ascended the throne and became queen, Queen Liliu Okalani, who ruled until January 17, 1893. At which time a group of businessmen, sugar planners, staged a uh, armed takeover. It wasn't the U.S. government. There was a U.S. gunship involved, but the uh, overthrow was by a fake government called, they called themselves a provisional government. They uh, petitioned the U.S. to annex. Annexation was very greatly uh, protested by residents and citizens of Hawaii, of course. Nobody wanted their nation annexed. It was subject to an illegal annexation in 1897 or 8. We're following uh, one group of climate marchers. And this one is where uh, walking through Waikiki, which is full of uh, mainland luxury. Uh, Start over! <laughs> We'll soon get to the point where we can actually see the beach and you'll see that in a climate change uh, scenario where the uh, sea level rises, these luxury shops will be underwater, <laughs> these Rolex shops. I'm an old guy, I remember uh, local shops actually being here. I remember lay sellers selling from their backs of their station wagons parked right here. Right here in front of what's currently the Apple store. You know? We can see uh, both sides of the march. It's an unpermitted march, so we're not uh, walking on the street. I believe. Support climate justice! Hawaii uh, being on the water, sensitive to uh, 
change in uh, sea level, of course. And uh, we have a lot of unity with the Pacific nation. <laughs> Corporations sued in court and has uh, suspended that ordinance. It's not being enforced at the moment. That's what we're over. Okay. Photo op. Yeah, you're live on the internet. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, I don't know where you're watching. I bet it's kind of cold. We're about at the uh, 70s. We're probably in the mid high, mid high 70s at the moment in Fahrenheit. Uh, high humidity, but not that high. I'm marching. I'm sweating. It's warm. We're almost uh, going to get to the beach, so we'll be able to see what climate change and sea level uh, changes will mean. This is the old uh, Moana Surf Rider, one of the first of the hotels that was put up along with the Royal Hawaiian, which you can't see from the street anymore. If you could see through the Surf Rider, you would see the beach. There you see the other side, there's a group of marchers there. Both the young people, well, that's why they're marching so damn fast. You know? People march a little bit more slowly. That'd be great. And here I am marching through our group here on the beach side. You're live on the internet. Life before profit, that is a... Uh, what a concept. Hawaiian Electric Company makes record profits and they're going to sell to the uh, next era. They're going to sell to the next era of energy company on the mainland. I shouldn't call it the mainland, on the continent. Oh, 
Watch my videos, you've Find seen this place a lot. You might ask, where's the news? You're watching the news. Here is the beach. I promised you Waikiki Beach. And there it is. This part of the uh, area two narrow to build a hotel. We're gonna get in front of the uh, people again. Excuse me, thank you, thank you. You know, Hawaii is known for aloha. I'll tell you something, there's not much of it here in Waikiki. Yes, you heard right. There's not much aloha in Waikiki. In fact, the further you, away you get from a cash economy, the more aloha people have. All in rural Hawaii. People got a lot You like it, Keith? You know cash and you're trash, bro. My opinion. We got both sides marching down the main drag. Climate justice! Stand up for the Pacific! Stand up for the Pacific! Wana Nui. The great ocean. Wananui is the Pacific name for the Pacific. It means the big ocean. Revolution, nothing less. Capitalism is destroying the planet. Did a pretty good doing a pretty good job destroying Waikiki and all of us. <laughs> Bernie. What's Bernie's position on climate change, real quick? Bernie wants to save the planet. Okay, that's that's worth the most. There are small signs. Let me get what the small signs say. You're live on the internet. We are not drowning. We are fighting. Very good. Thank you so much. Thank you. You know, I grew up in Hawaii. And sometimes I forget what the big deal is with all these people coming here. And I realize that when I go to where they are from, I think, oh my god, I live in a beautiful... Protect the Arctic. You'll see more of the beach as we walk to the Gandhi statue. We are walking uh, to a statue put up recently of uh, Mahatma Gandhi in uh, Kapiolani Park. Gandhi uh, organized people. And it was part of the movement to make India independent of the British Empire and he succeeded in doing that. 1940 something, right? There are many people who think Hawaii should be recognized as being an independent and sovereign nation. In fact, yesterday was the uh, anniversary of Lakua Koa, Independence Day.
Let's try to get over to the other side, no? Just joined us. We are. You are on the last climate march of the day at uh, longitude 157 or 158 west. Nothing between uh, 157 and 180 or zero degrees. 180. Sorry, 180 degrees west. That's an ironic shot right there in front of McDonald's. Right in front of McDonald's. Oh man. Hello. I like my shot going the other way to the beach. <laughs> We've got uh, a lot of people out today. I was saying the last march of the on Earth for today, because we are as far west as you can get and have a place to march. Nothing between 157 and 180 west, because obviously someone in the Pacific did not create zero degrees. If you go to zero degrees, that is of course Greenwich Observatory, which is also a where time, uh, Greenwich Mean Time, it actually was char changed to a universal coordinated time, I believe it's called, on the demand of the French. He said, why should uh, Greenwich be the standard? Why shouldn't it be Paris? They failed in their attempt to move it to Paris. Okay, here we go. We've changed the... Uh, sorry for the shaky camera work, but I'm... We're in Waikiki, the last uh, climate change march. The time. For today, trying to get that message to the rest of the world, support Hawaiian nationhood. Yeah. Yesterday was La Kua Kua. When Hawaii was recognized on November 28, 1843, as an independent sovereign nation by Britain and uh, France and a number of other nations. You'll see the term malama used a lot. Malama means uh, care for, take care of. Almost in the Gandhi statue. Landscaped islands created uh, money. Waikiki is uh, they keep telling us we have to take care of Waikiki because it's a revenue generator. Well, it's a revenue generator for... This is the biggest revenue generator for foreign corporations and people that don't live here. It's a source of jobs like uh, waitressing and... That sort of thing.
Let me swing around here. Place called Walls across the street. Where I learned to uh, pipe board, body board, as they call them now. What some people call them, I still call them pipe boards. We're on our way to the Gandhi statue, which is shady. Last saw this shot with the entire road filled with marchers in July sometime. There were 11,000 marchers through the whole street in unity with uh, was the Aloha Aina march. A lot of it to protest uh, what was happening on uh, Mauna Kea, a gigantic 186 foot tall observatory being built there. The 13th observatory on Mauna Kea. You know, I think, and I keep saying this every march I cover, it, people are marching too fast, <laughs> you know? Another voter for clean air and energy, Sierra Club. I like the Sierra, the new Sierra Club. <laughs> Save the human. I don't know if they're worth saving, but. <laughs> no environment, no economy. That's the point. Numbers. Okay, we are going now to uh, Gandhi statue. The other side, the other contingent across the street has already continued. I mean, I'd like some feedback. There are, uh, the marches in the past were slower. <laughs> I mean, I know I was younger. The idea isn't really to get to the destination as fast as you can. Because, like, otherwise you could just take the bus. You know what Yeah, that's the official meeting. Yeah. So they got half the end of the march, as they'll say. Half the number of marches. Well, you were marching with me, thank you. Some of you were. I think I'll start a new feed once we get to the... Yeah, I think we'll keep it going. I think we'll start another feed. Maybe we can uh, 